All right, everybody, welcome back to the office for Q of the Day. We haven't done this in a while, actually about, uh, about four or five days or so. As you can tell by this fantastic uh, gray beard that I'm growing, uh, I'm an old guy. What are you going to do? So anyhow, so this was a pretty good one. It's from uh, Xavier. He says, hey, Dan, I follow your YouTube channel for a while, and thanks to you, I'm ready to start, but I don't know where. Can you please help me? I can start just with $1,000. Where should I place it? I can add up to 1000 every month, but that's my limit. I'm a worker and don't have much, and for how long will I have to keep it there? So Xavier, this is, this is probably uh, one of the most sought after questions in all of cryptocurrency. Where do I put my money? And it really comes down to where are you in life? Where are you in what you're doing? When I got my first job, uh, this was a UPS. It was like one of my first jobs uh, when I was a kid. And uh, they did 401ks. And uh, they had actually you know, talked to me and said, hey, where do you want to put this money? Because you're so young, maybe you should actually uh, diversify in something a little bit more risky. And then uh, you know, maybe later on, uh, rebalance your portfolio and some things a little bit more safe. Because the theory goes that as you are younger, you are able to take more risks on and of course, then of course, the uh, profits could potentially be, be greater than that. So uh, that is one of those things. So for me, I always think to myself, well, first of all, I can't, uh, Xavier, I can't give you any advice. I can't tell you where to put it because I'm not a financial advisor. However, <laughs> if I'm looking back on my older self or my younger self, and I, let's say I'm in my 20s and I'm just starting out, right? and I'm making $1,000 like, like you are. That's about how much I made back then. Uh, I would think to myself, you know what? I probably want to balance my portfolio to something that's a little bit more on the risky side and then uh, balance it out with some things a little bit more safer. So if you're talking about just in cryptocurrencies, let's just go with cryptocurrencies. I'm not going to talk about uh, real estate. I'm not going to talk about metals. I'm not going to talk about anything else like that uh, or whatever. Uh, let's just stick with cryptocurrency. So for me, if I'm a younger person, I would probably put uh, a good amount, let's say, I don't know, uh, 30 to 50% into some riskier, uh, below the top 50, if, if I can get my hands on them, uh, digital assets. So um, I can only talk to you about what I personally own, and I really can't you know, go farther than that. I mean, I can't tell you about potato foot coin or something crazy, which everybody seems to like to ask me about. I have no idea. So if I want to go a little bit lower about some things that are probably potentially coming up over the next you know, years, then I would look at something like Celsius token. I would look at something like Theta token, which you know, we went over today. And I would look to you know, put a good chunk of my money into those because I think they're going to grow. And the reason why uh, is because um, they have a great team behind them. They have a mission. They solve a real world problem. So I can definitely see putting that into that. And then maybe rebalance it into something like, you know, 25%, 20%, maybe Ethereum, and then maybe another 20% into Bitcoin or 25, depending on what you want to do. And then hopefully that'll, that'll balance itself out. But again, if I'm younger and I can take the risks, I'm going to take more risks because there's a higher reward. Now, let's say I'm in my 30s and I got a couple kids and uh, I'm looking at, well, what am I going to do with these kids? Uh, how am I going to pay for everything as far as college and the mortgage and everything else? Maybe I don't want to be so risky. Uh, just in cryptocurrencies, right? So maybe I want to allocate a good portion of that, maybe like 50, 60% into Bitcoin because I'm not going to get the, the, the most fantastic rewards. Let's just be honest. Uh, Bitcoin can, tap, can top out. Some people will say a million, but I think those people are crazy. Some people will say 100,000. I think those people are conservative. So if I want to look at Bitcoin, well, it's about 10,000 today. So maybe it'll go up to 50, 75, 100,000 relatively, uh, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm going to put a bunch into uh, Bitcoin. Ethereum would be another safe bet. And uh, I see that everything is built on Ethereum. So if you just don't know about DeFi, stick it into, into, into Ethereum. And then kind of look down and do what I do, which is hedge your bets against what you think could be a smart contract platform, uh, which would be like, you know, the Cardano's and the EOS and things like that. But uh, you probably want to put more into a safer asset. Now let's say you're moving forward and I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm going, hey, what do you want to do? So I'm going to put a ton of my assets into uh, Bitcoin because the older that I am, the more I want to be. And let's be honest, cryptocurrency digital assets is a pretty volatile space. So I want to put my money uh, on the 
least volatile of those assets. And then off we go. So uh, that's what I would do. Now, if I'm in my 60s or something like that, it's pretty much all Bitcoin. If I'm just talking about cryptocurrencies because that's the safest bet that you can possibly do. So uh, uh, Xavier, I hope that answers your question. I can't give, you know, like exactly what, what I can tell you to do, but that is what I would do if I was in my 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, I would just uh, allocate to a little bit riskier to a little bit safer. And that's really all I got. All right, let's jump back. All right, that's it. So thanks for sticking with me to the very end. I really appreciate it. If you don't know, there is a link in the description of every one of my videos. It talks about the exchange fees and wallet fees and just a basic assessment of what I use and have used and recommend. I go everything from Coinbase to my one, two, three punch, which is uh, Celsius, Voyager, and Kraken. And I just tell you, you know, here's what the fees are. Uh, here's what the interest that you can accrue from just having it on there, if that's even an option. And I go over everything from Coinbase because people need an alternative to that. Uh, Binance, Uphold, Abra, SimpleSwap, Uniswap, uh, Cash App, eToro, don't recommend them and crypto.com. So it's all right there for you to take a look at of what I actually use and don't use and what people have said. Also, there's affiliate links, just so you know, you don't have to use those. You can go right to Kraken and sign up for Celsius or whatever else. But if you use my affiliate links, you get between 10 and $25. So it's totally up to you. Again, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Really appreciate it. See you on the next one.